Now I would like to discuss with you the surface areas and the volume of a right circular cylinder. Before it, I will tell you the results which we will use to solve the problems. I want to tell you how a cylinder can form. If you have any rectangular piece of paper as I have in my hand, suppose the length is L and breadth is B or you can say length is given by A, breadth by B. There are four possibilities, four ways to make the cylinder with the help of this piece of paper. The first attempt, you can roll it along its breadth. This is the breadth. If you roll it along its breadth, then a cylinder will form. So any rectangular sheet of paper when rolled along its breadth, then the breadth become its circumference and the length become the height of cylinder. So first way to form the cylinder with the rectangular sheet which you can also make is this that you have rolled the rectangular sheet toward its what breadth. Then in this case breadth become the circumference and length become the height. But if you want to roll it along its length, then in this situation, if you will roll it along its length, then again the shape will be the cylinder as you can see and the length becomes circumference and breadth become the height of cylinder. This length become the circumference and the height is equal to the breadth if you will roll it along length. So remember when you roll a rectangular sheet of paper along its length then length will be the circumference and breadth will be the height. And if you will roll it along its breadth then the breadth will convert to circumference of cylinder and length will be the height. Number one. Number two, as I shown you, you can roll a rectangular piece of paper in two ways, one along length, one along breadth. So two types of cylinder are possible. But if you fix its length and you rotate this piece of rectangular sheet of paper, then you can observe that what amount of the space is occupied by rolling this rectangular sheet of paper in the space is the cylinder where this height is equal to the length of the rectangular piece and this breadth become the radius of the cylinder. This is the third situation. Fourth, if you roll, if you revolve, if you make rotation of the rectangular sheet of paper by keeping its breadth fixed then this breadth will be its height and length will be the radius. So first question that how a right circular cylinder forms must be clear. Now I want to tell you what are the surface areas results, total surface area and volume of a right circular cylinder. Now I want to discuss with you the results required while solving the problems of the right circular cylinder. That is the first result is volume of cylinder is given by pi r square h where r is the radius of base and h is the height of cylinder. As you know pi r square is the area of base of the cylinder because base of cylinder and top of cylinder is a circle. Both are identical circular ends. That is pi r square can be written as area of base and h is the height. So there are two results. One pi r square h and its another form is area of base into height number one. 
कर्व्ड सरफेस एरिया और लेटरल सरफेस एरिया ऑफ अ सिलेंडर वट इज कर्व्ड इफ यू हैव अ सिलेंडर लाइक दिस देन ओनली एंड ओनली दिस रोल्ड पार्ट इज नोन एज कर्ब्ड और द लेटरल दैट इज इफ यू हैव अ सिलेंडर लाइक दिस देन ओनली दिस पार्ट विच इज राउंड दिस इज नोन एज द कर्ब्ड सरफेस एरिया कर्ब्ड सरफेस एरिया और लेटरल सरफेस एरिया ऑफ सिलेंडर इज टू पाई आर एच वेयर टू पाई आर यू नो वेरी वेल इज नोन एज द सरकम फ्रांस सो वी कैन कॉल टू पाई आर इज द सरकम फ्रांस इन टू एच मीन्स हाइट देन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द टोटल सरफेस एरिया इफ यू कैन कंप्लीट अ लिड एंड अ बेस इट मीन्स यू हैव क्लोज दिस सिलेंडर then what is the total surface area area of this curved that is 2 pi r square 2 pi r h plus one of the top pi r square same another top pi r square so it become 2 pi r h plus pi r square plus pi r square which is coming 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square 2 pi r into r plus h this is the concluding formula for getting the total surface area of a cylinder now volume of a hollow cylinder hollow cylinder is that cylinder which has thickness thickness is always calculated by subtracting internal radius from the external radius that is volume of hollow cylinder of if it is given internal radius is small r and external radius is capital r with the height h pi capital r square minus a small r square into height if you talk about how much material is used this will be the volume and when this volume will multiplied by the given density then weight of that material used to make the cylinder will come out total surface area of a hollow cylinder internal area that is 2 pi r h external area is what 2 pi small r h because height will remain same and area of two rings there will be two rings of some thickness area of one ring is pi r square minus r square so area of two rings is 2 pi r square minus r square so total surface area of a hollow cylinder is given by external surface area plus internal area plus area of two rings area of one ring is given by pi capital r square minus small r square we will use these results to solve the problems related to the right circular cylinder for obtaining the volume and surface area